ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा तो भगवत गीता के चैप्टर वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम चैप्टर थ्री एंड टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट पवित्र मंत्री जी कर्म योग You can repeat. All of you can repeat to me. Jatishayam ham na varte yam. Jatu karmana tyen indriya taha. Jatu karmanya tan drita ha. Mama mama varta anu anu vartan te. Mama varta manu vartan te. Manusya path sarvasa ha. यदि यदि जातु जातु वर्तमान वर्तन्ते वर्तमान वर्तन्ते मनुष्या पार्थ सर्वसा मनुष्या पार्थ सर्वसा स्वामी शिल प्रोपात की जय सो कृष्ण हिस्सिंग वाई ही वर्क एंड वाई एवरी वन शुड बी वर्किंग सो ही सेस हियर for if i ever fail to engage in carefully performing prescribed duties o parth certainly all men would follow my path purport in order to keep the balance of social tranquility for the progress of spiritual life there are traditional family uses mean for every civilized man although such rules and regulations are for conditioned souls and not for lord krishna because he descends to establish the principle of religion he followed the prescribed rules otherwise a common man would follow in his footsteps because he is the greatest authority from from shrimad bhagavatam it is understood that lord krishna was performing all religious duty at his home and out of home as required of a householder hari krishna so do you want to did you anyone here read krishna book i started no? reading prabhu you started okay so if you have you open chapter i think it's end i'm going we are going to read something about what krishna was doing day to day in dwaraka how was his life so we'll we'll read um Uh, okay, chapter seventy. Okay, I'm going to share a screen for others. So we we'll read little bit from there about Lord Krishna's daily activities. Because somebody can say, you know, Krishna is not doing nothing. So because here we are reading this sloka where Krishna is saying that if I ever fail to engage in carefully performing prescribed duties, oh Parth, certainly all men would follow my path. so what are those activities because that not given in bhagavad gita directly okay you all you can see my screen now this is this problem okay anybody wants to read this i can read prabhu ji okay ma'am please go ahead lord krishna's daily activities from the vedic mantras we learn that the supreme personality of godhead has nothing to do na tasya karyam karanam cha vidyate but if the supreme lord has nothing to do how can we speak of the activities of the supreme lord from the previous chapter it is clear that 
no one can act the way Lord Krishna does. We should clearly note this fact. The, uh, the activities of the Lord should be followed, but they cannot be imitated. For example, Krishna's ideal life as a householder can be followed. But if one wants to imitate Krishna by expanding into many forms, that is not possible. We should always remember, therefore, that Lord Krishna, although playing the part of a human being, simultaneously maintains the position of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We can follow Lord Krishna's dealing with, dealings with his wives as an ordinary human being, but his dealings with more than 16,000 wives at one time cannot be imitated. The conclusion is that to become ideal householders, we should follow in the footsteps of Lord Krishna as he displayed his daily activities, but we cannot imitate him at any stage of our life. Lord Krishna used to lie down with his 16,000 wives, but he should also rise from bed very early in the morning, three hours before sunrise. By nature's arrangement, the cowing of the cocks warns of the Brahma Mahurta heart. There is no need of alarm clocks as soon as the cocks crow early in the morning. It is to be understood that it is time to rise from bed. Hearing that sound, Krishna would get up from bed, but his rising early was not very much to the liking of his wives. The wives of Krishna were so much attached to him that they would lie in bed embracing him and as soon as the cocks crowed, Krishna's wives would be very sorry and would immediately condemn the cow crowing. Anyone in else wants to read? Yeah, we can read a few paragraphs from here. Anyone else wants to read? Next paragraph. No. Okay. You can continue, Mantri. Really. In the garden within the compound of each palace, there were Parijata flowers. The Parijata is not an artificial flower. We remember that Krishna brought the Parijata trees from heaven and planted them in all his palaces. Early in the morning, a mild breeze could, would carry the aroma of the Parijata flower and Krishna would smell it just after rising from bed. Due to this aroma, the honeybees would begin their humming vibration and the birds also would begin their sweet chipping sounds. All together, it would sound like the singing of professional chanters engaged in offering prayers to Krishna. Although Srimati Rukmini Devi, the first queen of Lord Krishna, knew that Brahma Mahurta is the most auspicious time in the entire day, she would feel disgusted at the appearance of Brahma Mahurta because she was not very happy to have Krishna leave her side in bed. Despite Srimati Rukmini Devi's disgust, Lord Krishna would immediately get up from bed exactly on the appearance of Brahma Mahurta. An ideal householder should learn from the behavior of Lord Krishna how to rise early in the morning. However comfortably, he may be lying in bed embraced by his wife. After rising from bed, Lord Krishna would wash his mouth, hands and feet and would immediately sit down and meditate on himself. This does not mean, however, that we should also sit down and meditate on ourselves. We have to meditate upon Krishna, Radha Krishna. That is real meditation. Krishna is Krishna himself. Therefore, he was teaching us that Brahma Muhurta should be utilized for meditation on Radha Krishna. By such meditation, Krishna would feel very much satisfied. And similarly, we will also feel transcendentally pleased and satisfied if we utilize the Brahma Muhurta period to meditate on Radha and Krishna. And if we think of how Sri Rukmini Devi and Krishna acted as ideal householders to teach the whole human society to rise early in the morning and immediately engage in Krishna consciousness. There is no so difference between... Minute, just a minute, Manthi. Huh. So I think that's, this is a big, bit larger, so we can read yes. next what he does. Uh, so so after, I maybe I'll read and just glance yeah. through and read for everyone. Is that okay? Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Thank you. After his meditation, the Lord would regularly bathe early in the morning in, with the clear, snackified water. He would change fresh clothing, cover himself with wrapper and engage in his daily religious functions. Uh, out of his re many religious duties, the first was to offer oblations into the sacrificial fire and silently chant the Gayatri Mantra. Lord Krishna executed uh, as a high ideal householder, executed all the religious function of a householder without deviation. When the sun become visible, the Lord would offer a specific prayer to sun god. 
The sun god and the demigod mentioned in Vedic scriptures are described in different limbs of the body of the Lord Krishna. And then what he do? Now here again it is a refer to the Bhagavad Gita chapter we are reading. Uh, then next duty was to give cows in charity to Brahmanas. Each day Lord Krishna used to give many group of 13,084 cows. Each of cows were decorated with silken cover and pearl necklaces. Right? So then he will do charity. Then after that, um, he will please all, all kind of belongings to different castes. So everyone should be satisfied. And uh, and then they will offer him flower garland, beetle nuts, and then pearl. Um, so he will he'll distribute all. And then his chariot Dar Daruka would come with his wonderful chariot to stand before the Lord with folded hand. And then Lord will sit on the chariot with Udhava and Satyaki, who is a charioteer for Krishna. And they will leave the palaces, right? Then he will go to his assembly house, which is like his court, his court like Sudharma Hall. And then he sit there, he will look at the, you know, because he was a king. So he has to take care of a lot of administrative affairs. So he would do, he would do all that, you know. Mm. You should read this chapter in detail, chapter 70 of Krishna book. So that one like that, he will do so many activities like a general person does in, you know, we do in our human life. But Prabhupada is saying that we should not imitate such activities. That's why Krishna is saying, I perform this chapter uh, 23, you know, cha chapter 3, tw text 23. He says, if I fail to engage or do these things, then everyone will become lazy. And he will explain why, you know, very soon he's going to explain in next sloka. Okay. So we can read next sloka. Who wants to read chap uh, sloka 24 of chapter 3 of Bhagavad Gita? Anybody wants to read? Okay, I'll read then. Utsi Utsi De Irur Imam Loka Nakuriam Karma Chedaham Sankaras Sechakaratasyam Upahanya Ima Praja. Translation Krishna is explaining to Arjuna here that Krishna is saying, if I did not perform prescribed duties, all these worlds would be put into renation. I would be the cause of creating unwanted population and I would thereby destroy the peace of all living beings. I'll repeat. So Krishna is saying to Arjuna, if I did not perform prescribed duties, all these worlds would be put into renation. I would be the cause of creating unwanted population and I would destroy thereby I would thereby destroy the peace of all living beings. Perfect. So what is Varna Shankara? Srila Prabhupada explaining here. Varna Shankara is unwanted population which disturbs the peace of general society. In order to check this social disturbance, there are prescribed rules and regulations by which the population can automatically become peaceful and organized for spiritual progress in life. When Lord Krishna descends naturally, he deals with he deals with rules and regulation in order to maintain the prestige and necessity for of such important performances. The Lord Krishna is the father of all living entities, and if the living entities are misguided indirectly, the responsibility goes to the Lord. Therefore, whenever there is a general disregard of regulatory principle, the Lord himself descends and corrects the society. So does anyone remember this sloka when Krishna says, why do I appear? It's a very famous one. Yeah, you can say it loudly. You all can hear. So here, 
That's why Krishna is described. We should, however, note carefully that although we have to follow the footsteps steps of the Lord, we still have to remember that we cannot imitate him. Following and imitating are not on the same level. We cannot imitate the Lord by lifting Govardhana Hill, as Lord did in his childhood. It is impossible for any human being. We have to follow his instructions, but we may not imitate him at any time. The Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, 33, 33 chapter, 30 to 31 sloka is confirmed. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said. So let's read. Nayatat samachare jatu manushapi hai anishwaraha vinya vinya shete acharam modya yatha rudho avijana visham ishwara ram bacha satyam tathaeva arch acharitam kochit te sam yataswavacho yuktam buddhi mamstat samacharet translation one should simply follow the instructions of the Lord and his empowered servant. These instructions are all good for us and any intelligent person will perform them as instructed. However, one should guard against trying to imitate their actions. One should try not to drink the ocean of poison in the imitation of Lord Shiva. So let's read more here. We should always consider the position of Ishwara or those who can actually control the movement of sun and moon as superior. Without such power, one cannot imitate the Ishwara who are super powerful. Lord Shiva drank poison to the extent of swallowing an ocean. But if any common man tries to drink even a fragment of such a poison, he will be killed. There are many pseudo deities of the Lord Shiva who want to indulge in a smoking ganja marijuana, and similar intoxicating drugs, forgetting that by so imitating the act of Lord Shiva, they are calling their death very near. Similarly, there are many pseudo deities of the Lord Krishna who prefers to imitate the Lord in his Rasa Leela or dance of love, forgetting their inability to lift the Govardhana hill. It is best, therefore, that one not try to imitate the powerful but simply follow their instructions. Nor should one try to occupy their post without qualification. There are so many incarnations of God without the proper, without the power of Supreme Godhead. Hare Krishna. It's a very important and instructive sloka for all of us. So, you see, Krishna is explaining and Prabhupada is elaborating. Krishna is saying that if I did not perform prescribed duties, all these world would be put into renation. I would be the cause of creating unwanted population and I would thereby destroy the peace of all living beings. Right? So, as we know in the world, it's very common to imitate, right? Like, you know, the followers of movie actors, you know, the followers, so called fans, so called yeah. fans. I don't know what is fan means. <laughs> so, Followers is more precise word. Followers, they want to imitate their, you know, they want to have hairstyle, dressing, you know, goggles, um, walking, talking habit like their ideals, right? Yes. And that is sometimes becomes dangerous. Like like movies, nowadays movies, a lot of, you know, young generation, they look at the movie, they want to follow. Even something like some stunt you know the biking stunt you know that movie came dhoom right yes long back dhoom movie where there was a bike in, in you know in stand like the, the hero john abraham right i don't remember the name of the actor some actor he he used to drive bike very high speed and and and, and you know, kind of do all kind of jugglery and then the people look at the movie and then young generation started doing that and so many people died in accident because of, you know, that imitation, right? Likewise, you have hundreds of examples of imitation and people losing their lives, right? Very simple example of imitation is smoking, you know, 
smoking is is spread because of a lot of time because of movies because people see those nice you know that that you know that it looks so nice the way they photograph it that every every flame yeah. of that you know that smoke looks so glamorous and the young generation want to do that right maybe those actors just do for a few seconds but these people do for whole life and they die of lung cancer right so imitation is very dangerous and similarly if you come to religious circles a lot of people want to imitate lord shiva you know in the name of lord shiva in shivratri a lot of people drink ganja bhang right all intoxicating things and and a lot of if you if you talk to any follower of lord shiva they will they would want to be, they may be implicated most of time in some kind of intoxication you know it may be very simple like gutka or tobacco or you know start with smoking ganja and goes to so many levels and they call themselves followers of lord shiva right that you know lord shiva used to drink so i am just doing it right so here is said that lord shiva actually he was not taking ganja and bhang you know he took the poison you remember that uh, during um, um samudra manthan that churning of ocean the poison halahal came out and the smoke of it was destroy going to destroy and kill all the living entity on three planet and systems it was very powerful uh poison and lord shiva just to save the humanity on the request of demigods he took it and it was almost like a whole ocean of poison he drank and that's why he's in he did not took it in he hold it on his neck though. so he called nilakant right his name is one of the name is nilakant lord shiva so he took the poison and proper explaining if anyone wants to imitate lord shiva even if you take a smoke you know little drop of that poison you will finish so if you really want to imitate shiva then you should take some poison that is the best imitation not hala hal is very powerful poison you just take it some simple poison you know then we'll say okay you are lord shiva now right you know people want to put snake around them and if you go to pilgrimage places a lot of people just for begging and getting some donation they they have snakes and all that okay this is shiva right so it's not good idea similarly lord krishna's followers lot of the people you will meet they want to become gopis you know they want to <laughs> they want to follow the gopis and imitate not follow the imitate the gopis imitation like i will become a gopi manjari um i want to become krishna i want to play rasa dance you know so many big big babas in in vrindavan mathura they 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 pose themselves as krishna and their followers they treat them like gopis and they will have all kind of nonsense relationship engagement in the name of krishna right so prabhupad explaining all right you can play rasa dance okay you want to follow you want to imitate krishna all right you want to do rasa dance no problem do it but then you should also be able to lift govardhana hill on on, on your in you know last finger for seven days and night you know can you even hold any stone for few minutes a big stone no right so imitation is something like very dangerous and in our life also we should be careful is not imitating anyone we should follow the instructions why we should follow the instructions because they are for us right so krishna gave this instruction of bhagavad gita for all of us and we should follow this instruction that we should engage in our prescribed duties not trying to imitate krishna here right so we'll go to the next you want to say something pavitra mandir ji no prabhu ji okay uh, we'll go to the next shloka text 25 who wants to read hari krishna nagarani mantri ji hare krishna prabhu ji actually i forgot prabhu ji i did not see the 
I was explaining uh, my daughter has some exam tomorrow. I was explaining maths to her. I did not okay. feel sorry for this. No problem. No, you want to read text twenty five. Uh, I don't have book right now. Uh, I'll continue okay. from next week. I can share the screen if you want. Yeah, I'll try to do that probably. Okay, let me share this. But I have opened it. We were reading from Krishna book a little bit. Oh, you did not brought the book from US? No, no, I have. Uh, but it is in suitcase. We are in... Uh... Airbnb. Oh, you are still in here in US? No, no, in uh, India, in Hyderabad, we are in Airbnb. We didn't get a rental house. Okay. From first, we are going to. Okay, move. Okay, okay. I yeah, know. yeah. No problem. Yeah. So, can you see this screen? Yeah, yeah. yes, Prabhuji. Yes, please. Yeah. Sekta Karmani Avidvamso. Yatha Kurvani Bharatha Kurya Vidvams Tat Taktas Sikursir Loka Sangraham Translation Prabhuji A person in Krishna consciousness and a person not in Krishna consciousness are differentiated by Different no, desires. No. Trans translation, this one. You see oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As the ignorant perform their duties with attachment to results, the learned may similarly act. But without attachment, for the sake of leading people, leading people on the right path, perfect. A person in Krishna consciousness and a person in Krishna uh, person not in Krishna consciousness are di differentiated by different desires. A Krishna conscious person does not do anything which is not conductive to development of Krishna consciousness. He may even act exactly like the ignorant people, ignorant person who is too who is too much attached to material activities. But one is engaged in such activities. For the satisfaction of his uh, sense gra gratification, whereas the other is engaged for the satisfaction of Krishna. Therefore, the Krishna conscious person is required to show the people how to act and how to engage the results of action for the purpose of Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhupada. Next one, anyone wants to read this? Both is loka, 24 and 26 are related. So you can read 26 if you want. Anyone? I can read Prabhuji. Yes. Na buddhi bedam jana yeda gyanam karma sanginam josha yet sarva karmani vidwan yuktaha samacharan. Translation So as not to disturb the minds of ignorant men attached to the fruit to results of prescribed duties, a learned person should not induce them to stop stop work. Rather, by working in the spirit of devotion, he should engage them in all sorts of activities for the gradual development of Krishna consciousness. Vedais cha sarvair aham eva vedya. That is the end of all Vedic rituals. All rituals, all performances of sacrifices and everything that is put into the Vedas including all direction for material activities, are meant for understanding Krishna, who is the ultimate goal of life. But because the conditioned souls do not know anything beyond sense gratification, they study the Vedas to that end. But through fruitive activities and sense gratification regulated by the Vedic rituals, one is gradually elevated to Krishna consciousness. Therefore, a realized soul in Krishna consciousness should not disturb others in their activities or understanding, but he should act by showing how the results of all work can be dedicated to the service of Krishna. The learned Krishna conscious person may act in such a way that the ignorant person working for sense gratification may learn how to act and how to behave. Although the ignorant man is not to be disturbed in his activities, a slightly developed Krishna conscious person may directly be engaged in the service of the Lord without waiting for other Vedic formulas. 
for this fortunate man there is no need to follow the vedic rituals because by direct krishna consciousness one can have all the results one would otherwise derive from following one's prescribed duties thank you manasi sare krishna so here yeah, the very important sloka for all of us again na buddhi vedam janeda gyanam karma sanginam josayet sarva karmani vidwan yukta chara samacharan so as not to disturb the mind of ignorant men attached to the fruitive result of prescribed duties a lone person should not induce them to stop work rather than by work rather by working in the spirit of devotion he should engage them in all sort of activities for the gradual development of krishna consciousness hare krishna so here a little bit contradictory if you, if any general person read this sloka you will find so krishna is saying two things in two slokas first in 25 he is saying that a ignorant person performs a lot of activities right and they are very much attached to what they do they are like very passionate to do what they want to do right so learn it so krishna is saying here that similarly a spiritual person should also act you should be very attached to what you do you know whether it is chanting reading bhagavad gita serving preaching telling any about krishna you should be very passionate about sharing this information knowledge why and and he says but without attachment you are attached to the service but not the result so attachment what happens materialistic people people who are grossly materialistic they are very much attached to the results right they they want results out of it you know not they are attached so much about their work also while they do and, and while they are doing they are contemplating about the result and they are worried you know what will happen whether they will be successful or failure successful or failure what gonna happen but krishna is saying we should krishna conscious person should also act in the same way like the ignorant people act so actions are same activities are going to be same right but without attachment to the results like without attachment for the sake of leading people in on the path so we we also do work we also kind of earn money we have families we do all the projects but only difference between grossly materialistic and spiritually minded person is that the spiritually minded person is not much attached to the results he or she will follow the path follow the instructions follow the protocols follow the workflow but outcome he or she is not attached but other way the materialistic person is so much attached that if they fail they go into depression because why krishna will tell in next sloka you will discuss in 27 you will find why does that happen so in the in the te text number 26 now krishna is saying that we should not disturb the mind of the ignorant people right Oh, here very important word men attached to the fruitive results of prescribed duty so the people who are so much attached to the results of their work or duties krishna is saying don't disturb them now you can say okay then how how they will get the information of any of this right because if nobody talks about krishna because almost a whole population is like that right almost 99% of people in the world are not interested to know much about his spirituality nowadays most of time when i say 99% means that real spirituality not like spirituality for profit you know spirituality for some benefit spirituality for some wealth health money power position prestige family no spirituality just for the pleasure of the god almost 99% people not interested even people who are religious 
they are more interested that how can they benefit from from the god they are not there to serve the god there is no selfless service it's mostly how can god serve me so if i chant this mantra then mata ji devi mata will become happy if i chant this mantra then shiva will be happy if i chant this mantra then lord sun will be happy if i chant then indra will so many devi god ganesha will be happy and what they will do they will protect me they will give me memory intelligence money power position babies you know health all that people are doing that most of even religious people are interested in some result out of out of these these uh, performances of spiritual activities so what do you do how do you in, how do you interact with them because krishna is saying don't disturb them so then he says in next word na buddhi vedam janayet gyanam karma sanginam josayet sarva karmani a lone person should not induce them to stop work so first thing he is saying that don't ask them that don't do anything don't don't say to them that all is maya you are not supposed to work let's meditate let's do meditation for 30 minute one hour do nothing they won't do it because they are so much attached to their work right it may not work so that's why you should never stop them because generally the connotation is that if you become a spiritual then you stop working right that's what outside people think that if you if you do hari krishna mahaman chanting if you um, you know if you become religious or you become spiritual then you will not have interest in the world that's a basic thing like you become sadhu sadhu means no work right that's a <laughs> synonyms sadhu means no work they just take donation eat sleep right and if you if you go associate with such sadhus they will also make you stop work therefore let's not go to temple let's not go to meet these um, saffron color cloth people or even white color with tilak and kanti mala because they are all lazy people they don't do anything this is how general public thinks you know so they are feared that if they interact with such people they will stop them work but krishna is saying no don't stop them work so what to do with them how do you preach how do you interact with the world krishna is saying rather by the working in the spirit of the ocean he should engage them in all sort of activities so only thing we have to change prabhupad explained that we have to just change the intention and consciousness of the person who is acting who is working so you have to engage them in all sort of spiritual activities in the work in the spirit what is the spirit the spirit of the ocean not in the spirit of promotion right <laughs> most of people work in the spirit of promotion promotion i mean in any situation promotion to heavenly planet promotion to uh, job promotion in family life promotion in society promotion in country promotion in anything right but here is not in krishna is saying no don't work in the spirit of promotion work in the spirit of the ocean in all sort of activities and with what is the goal for the gradual development of krishna consciousness and that's what sila propad did when he came to united states and he was living with hippies they were one of the most fallen people so called in the society but what did he do he did not ask them that okay now you you are not brahman you are not born in a brahmanical family you take you take the ganja drugs and all these nonsense so therefore you cannot chant hari krishna mantra no what did he what did he do he directly engaged such people in chanting hari krishna mantra offering them prasadam keeping them them in the temple taking care of them give them love and care and what did they become they become sanyasis in few months why because krishna is saying you know vedesh cha sarve raham eva vedyo prabhupad explaining in this purport if you see for this fortunate man there is no need to follow the vedic rituals because these people did not follow any vedic ritual you know they did not 
took a, they did not go through all the sanskaras no they just take hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare that's what they did they chanted this mantra hare krishna maha mantra and that has cleared off all the rituals which supposed to be done to reach to krishna because they were directly interacting with krishna his name and krishna is not different like us so therefore Prabhupada is explaining that since they did that, they were able to directly get benefit from these activities, right? So there is a result out there. It's not that we are saying that, okay, you, because a lot of people, you know, still there is a lot of criticism, especially worldwide in Hindu community, that in International Society for Krishna Consciousness, ISKCON, you know, they invite malichas, foreign people, all kind of people to become brahmanas and do deity worship. So you will hear all these criticisms. But this is as per Krishna. What Krishna is saying? Don't stop them work. Engage them in the spirit of the ocean. In all sort of activities. Right? So what's wrong? So to, when Prabhupada, you know, in 1960, when he went back to India with his white color, white body, disciples in in the in the form of sannyas and brahmacharis all the hindu community was criticizing him that how can you initiate malichas jyavanas malichas pichasas all these people are not even born in hindu family how can you make them sannyasis and deity worshippers and you know opening temples they are doing deity worship you know he was being criticized heavily and if anyone would have been, you know, they he even been threatened by people to, you know, take his life, Prabhupada. But he did not deviate because Krishna, he, this is Krishna's instruction. This is not Srila Prabhupada's manufactured knowledge. Krishna is here. You see text, text 26, Krishna is saying, engage them in the spirit of the ocean for the gradual development of Krishna consciousness. Right? So we should not worry, you know, a lot of time we, we are also born in so many kind of families. We are, you know, some are male, female. People will talk from Vedas, so many destructions that, okay, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. No. Krishna is here saying that you can engage in the spirit of the ocean in any activities as per instructions from authorities and you will be perfect in this life. You don't have to worry about, you know, what to do, how, what not to do. Just chant Hare Krishna, read Prabhupada books, observe Rakadasi, accept a spiritual master and, and work whole life under his instruction. You know, you're, you organize your life in such a way that you can become more and more Krishna conscious daily, right? It is challenging. Let's accept that challenging because we are we are in so many situations we have a job we have family we have burdens you know so many things we have health problems but if we organize our life because all these things will not go away whatever you do they have been there as far as we remember from our childhood if in not in our life but someone around us always everyone is going through it so so why to worry much? It will come in with its own accord. You just do your duties, but don't worry about the result and, and just engage more and more in Krishna conscious activities, right? And then we'll be peaceful and happy. So we'll read next sloka and then we'll have question answers and then we'll stop there. Next sloka is text 27. And this is the sloka explaining why and how a materialistic person engaged in activities is disturbed, but a spiritual person engaged in same activities is not disturbed. Why? Because this is sloka is going to explain. Anyone wants to read this text 27? Right. Yes. Prakriti kriya manani gunehe karmani sarvashaha ahankara vimuratma karta hamiti manyate 
the spirit soul bewildered by the influence of false ego thinks him himself the doer of activities that are in actuality carried out by the three modes of material nature two persons one in krishna conscious and the other in material consciousness working on the same level may appear to be working on the same platform but there is a wide gulf of difference in their respective positions the person in material consciousness is convinced by false ego that he is the doer of everything he does not know that the mechanism of the body is produced by material nature which works under the supervision of the supreme lord the materialistic person has no knowledge that ultimately he is under the control of krishna the person in false ego takes all credit for doing everything independently and that is the symptom of his nescience he does not know that this gross and subtle body is the creation of material nature under the order of the supreme personality of god god and as such his bodily and mental activities should be engaged in the service of krishna in krishna consciousness the ignorant man forgets that the supreme personality of godhead is known as rishikesha or the master of the senses of the material body for due to his long misuse of the senses in sense gratification he is factually bewildered by the false ego which makes him forget his eternal relationship with krishna hari krishna thank you mataji yes so this shloka this is the reason prakrte kriyamanani गुण सकर्माणि सर्वस अहंकार विमूणात्मा कर्ता हम इति मन्यते अहंकार विमूणात्मा दिस अहंकार फॉल्स ईगो बिकॉज ही गॉट द रीजन राइट बिकॉज द पर्सन इंगेज प्रोपर एक्सप्लेनिंग द मटेरियल एक्टिविटीज दे थिंक देमसेल्फ एज द डूअर दे थिंक दैट आई एम डूइंग इट हाउएवर द स्पिरिचुअली माइंडेड पर्सन थिंक्स दैट krishna is doing it krishna is the controller of modes of material nature and material nature is acting in such a nice way that everything is being done as per direction of krishna that's the only difference you know problems comes in our life also and anyone who is not spiritual their also life has a problems but when problem comes in a spiritually minded person's life then person thinks oh krishna is so kind he has reduced my problem but the materially minded person thinks oh i am a failure i failed because of that i couldn't do this therefore i have this problem i have to somehow correct this and there is hard struggle for existence you know so struggling to fix it to fix it but it never get fixed you fix one thing you broke other thing right so because why they do that there is there is a consciousness behind it because they think ahankar vimunatma karta aham iti mannyate they think that karta aham iti mannyate i am the doer but actually if you see this body did we create this body did anyone create their own body in this world I'm asking all of you. No, did, no problem. Did you know any any living being created his own body, her own body? No. What about if just this body, even our house, our clothes? Did we create this cloth? No. Somebody else created it, right? Yeah. Yes. Somebody else created this laptop, this camera, this microphone. and then i if i'm using this i think i'm a doer i i am creator is that a right thought process right no it's it's not right it's not right but people they still think that you know that i am the doer why because false ego because if this assume why they don't you know just think for a moment what if if they accept that they are not doer what will happen they think that for impetus for work will be gone that what is the inspiration to work if i am not the doer right mm -hmm. then question comes who is doing it right mm -hmm. okay 
So, okay, more so material nature. So then the, some people, Gyanis, you know, Gyanis comes to realization. Oh, it is all nature's arrangement. Very nice. Who is nature? Who is nature? Oh, it works. Random, nature works randomly. Create things, created mountains, seas, rivers, a whole world is nature's arrangement. But who controls nature? Nature is working under whose superintendence? Who is the director of nature? Mm, I don't know. It's just random. It doesn't matter. That's what they will say. Right? And that's what we have been taught, actually. Before we came to Krishna consciousness, we didn't knew that, you know, there is a controller of the nature. We knew some demigods. But those were more of, we were taught mythological, you know, Indra, Chandra, Varuna, Pavana, all that is, it's mythological. Oh, it's nice, you worship them, they will protect you, fine. But who controls them? Who controls demigod? Who controls Brahma, Lord Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva? We were thinking they are the ultimate controller, Lord Brahma, Shiva, and Lord, uh, Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu. Then we read now, Brahma, Lord Brahma is saying, Sarva Ishwara Parama Krishna Sachidananda Vigraha. Lord Brahma is saying, Oh, there is a supreme boss, Sachidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radir Govinda Sarva Karan Karana. Lord Brahma is saying, Krishna, you are the Sarva Karan Karana. You are the cause of all causes. Actually, until I came to Krishna consciousness, I did not knew there is something beyond Siva, Lord Brahma, and Lord Vishnu. I used to think Krishna is one of the you know nice great person like Vishnu, maybe. Is that all of you also had same understanding, right? Yes, Prabhuji, same understanding. And then when we, and I, the reason I did not, I think, learned about that because I didn't knew there is something called Brahma Shamita. Lord Brahma is praying to Krishna and explaining what Krishna is. Actually, in public, nobody talks about all this. <laughs> There is no systematic education about, no system, nobody explains. Until I read Sula Prabhupada books from the Bhagavad Gita and then Prabhupada explaining, hey, here is Brahma Shamita, Lord Brahma praying to Lord Krishna. Ishwara Parama Krishna, Satchira Ananda Vigrahastas, Anadi Adira Govinda, Karam Sarva Karan Karana. You are the cause of all the causes in this world. You are Satchidananda, Vigraha. You are the personal form. And you are Parama Krishna. You are Parama. You are the Supreme. Who is saying Lord Brahma? So we were so much misguided, but we are so fortunate that we have now this knowledge, this information. We have got so early in our life, all of us. We know this. So we should not lose this opportunity now. We should become serious in our spiritual path, you know. It is a path, it is a career, just like you have a career path, this is your spiritual path. This is our spiritual path to where this path will take you, like career takes you to the higher in career, right? You become promoted, promoted. If we follow this spiritual path, we will be promoted to higher level of consciousness and ultimately promoted back home, back to Godhead with Krishna, right? So this is an opportunity and therefore we should not miss it. We should take Bhagavad Gita very seriously. We should study line by line, word by word. We should try to study and see, oh, what does it say? What does it mean? You know, question it. And until you question it, you won't learn it, right? Like in our study also, until we solve the questions, prepare for the exam, we won't learn it. Think of an a degree course where there is no exam, what will happen? We will not be able to uh, understand if ourselves, like evaluate ourselves. Yeah, not only evaluate, nobody would be serious to even study uh, yes. because there is no exam. <laughs> there is no exam, right? 
Yes, Prabhuji. A lot of time we studied because there was an exam. You know, we had the fear of exam. <laughs> And what is exam in this case? In spiritual life, when will be the exam? Because this is a career. This is a spiritual path. This is spiritual practice. So when the exam will happen? Do anybody know? Final exam. When final exam will happen? The day when we have to leave this body. Exactly. Thank you, Mahatma. So at the time of death, and actually, there is no date announced, so that's very sad. At least in examination, you have exam schedule, date, and what what will be asked, what what subject you have to study. In this case, you don't have a date for the exam, so which means then you have to prepare, be prepared every moment, and it, it can happen anytime. The exam. So isn't we should be more serious then? I exam which doesn't have any announced date and it can happen anytime and it is very important for our next life we should become very serious about this business right serious to the extent that it should become one of our one of the priority you know in life right because whatever we do we are doing in life will be gone at the time of death, you won't take your degree, certificate, money, bank balance, babies, children, husband, wife. Anybody can, can you, can anyone take anything what we are so much caring for? No, nothing can be taken. Nothing can be taken. But it's just so we are so much attached. Why? Because ahankar vimul atma karta aham iti mannate. Because we are so much engrossed that I am the doer. Ahankara bimura atma. Ahankara bimura. Ahankara means false ego. And bimura means bewildered. Like bewildered. Why? Because you don't know what you're doing. Right? So, and that's why it's called bewildering. Because it's by false ego. I am the doer. Karta aham Because we think we are a doer. But what happens at the time of death? That's the exam. We fail because we didn't knew that I'm I'm not a doer. So if you know that you are not a doer, then you pass because then you know, okay, I know I'm not the doer. Therefore, I'm not attached to all this nonsense going on. Though I'm acting as a matter of duty, though I'm acting as a matter of responsibility, though I'm acting as a matter because I have this body, I have learned this, I have to maintain my body, I have to do something because Krishna in previous verses, he said nobody can stop in a moment without work. Everybody has to work. But in the spirit of devotion for Krishna, that is the message here. Okay, And we should also engage others to work in the spirit of devotion, not the, in, the, in the spirit of promotion in material levels. No, in the spirit of devotion. Right? That is the job of a spiritual master. So all of you are a spiritual master to someone or you will be. Even if you are a parent, then you are a spiritual master to your kids because you are teaching them. You are, so you can give this also. If you, are, if you are son, daughter, then you can teach your parents. You will, you will have some juniors. You can teach them. You give, offer them. Teaching does not mean forcing. Offering means not a force. Offering means just giving an opportunity to anyone. Hey, I want to help you. Doesn't mean you're forcing them to take your help. No. You just say it. It's up to them to take it, not take it. Doesn't matter. Right? Okay. So we'll end here. Um, Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Sila Prabhupada ki jai. Anybody have any questions, comments, realizations, please do share. I want to hear from all you, all of you. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, I have a question. Yeah. It is just, we just read it that 26th verse, like if ignorant men, we should not stop them from, stop their activities, but just we need to engage them. Yes. How to do it, like in the real life, like let's consider that is an ignorant man with us. Yeah. 
so how do we engage start engaging like if the, if he is a completely ignorant man okay so if you read that sloka again mm -hmm. can you read the whole sloka one second ുദ്ധിഭേദം ജനയേത ജ്ഞാനം കർമ്മ സംഗിനാം ജോഷയേത് സർവകർമാണി വിദ്വാൻ യുക്ത സമാചരൻ yeah so if you go to the purpur and you mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. this uh, line where prabha is saying the learned krishna conscious person may act in such a way that the ignorant person working for sense gratification may learn how to act and how to behave although the ignorant man is not to be disturbed in his activities a slightly developed krishna conscious person may directly engage them in the service of the lord without waiting for other vedic formulas so first thing first first mm -hmm. of all we should become we should become an example mm -hmm. right. so we should let's not worry about others for some time when we become an example that we we work so expertly we are so you know efficient in conducting ourselves in daily life right then people become curious how did you do that you know how did you do that and if on someone is very close to us like very close friend husband wife anyone first of all not try to impose on them anything of our own philosophies no we should behave in such a way that they should get amazed oh how did you do that how can you become so tolerant how can you face so much difficulties without being disturbed they'll be amazed you know these are very good qualities and and in the meantime if they are family member they you are living with them you offer them prasadam you know food offer to krishna that's mm. it give them time when, when prabhupada is saying in next line when the time will come when they have a slightly developed krishna conscious person you know when they will have some curiosity to understand this what mm -hmm. what do you do daily and that makes you yeah, so powerful yeah, in yeah, your daily yeah, life yeah. and and you can deal with so many things oh that's the time you tell them all right now you, if you want to learn that Mommy, you learn, start this chanting hare krishna mantra but until then you just be example for them offer them prasadam that's it hmm. okay is that is that clear monthly yes 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 prabhu ji yes yeah should be an example yeah first be, yeah be good example hmm. not to so just to so up hmm. and wait for them no you live your life simple and and as per it it, it, it is never impose them impose on them hmm. offer them prasadam and when they will see good qualities in you they will be curious to know how did you do that and then which means they are they are getting curious to know and then you offer them okay here is the thing if you want to know here is the thing Right. Okay. So then they will want to be offended that they won't feel like you we you know, we are putting burden on them. Thanks Prabhuji. Yes. Mm. Thank you Manasi. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. no problem so we we'll land here um you know time now almost 10 india i know i think 10:30 in india so thank you everyone for joining 
and we learn here von chakal patru vasicha to pasin the bio chak tanam pavane bhi vaishnu bhi unam unam jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda sri advaita radhar shri vasadi radhar shri vasadi shri gaur bhagavan so i was saying uh, this summer summer is starting holidays and if you think anyone even the you know young kids or grown up they want to join the sessions you can invite them somehow krishna is willing we are not able to do bhagavad gita certificate course because you know i have a baby and i don't have a lot of time to to give so we are not doing for this summer uh, for that that's very sad but but we'll do soon more organized way Uh, so please uh, feel free to invite for english classes because we have very less people we are all um and you can invite people if they have time over summer okay chat puji yes thank you hari krishna thank you everyone thank you ritu parna nagrani mathi hari krishna prabhu ji nice thank you prabhu ji thank you for the nice hari krishna then prabhu ji how is the little one Oh, he's good. He's twenty-one now. <laughs> twenty-one days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Matri. Please do join. Remember your time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.